That's why I say only three times on the second date. I didn't. Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm already calling this. Y'all gotta uh, I need more I need more context. There was so much more to that faux conversation. <laughs> exactly. We could have kept bullshitting that. Jurassic Park. Uh, Amber. All right, and uh, you got yours? Uh, I guess mine. I'll take whatever's left over. Right. Right. That's yeah. what I'm used to. What are we going to? Just doing it. I'm going. Pray for low numbers. Yes. Oh god. Oh, we gotta have Rolly. Oh, oh, it was almost Rolly. It was like I was almost, almost ready. <laughs> you know, well, no, let's it's find not. out. Let's find out. Let's let let's, just, we, just can't, we can't let it happen. Let's see who uh, almost took the bullet. Don't feel defeat. Oh, that's hey. so oh. That means you have to do it now. I'm pretty no, sure it's you. Okay. <laughs> you got dry mouth now. Uh, you uh, <laughs> uh, I had a feeling it was gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Hey everybody, <laughs> here we are together, and uh, well shit, it's another four-sided dive. The only show on the internet written by the world's most powerful sentient AI. This flesh form in front of you will be your third keeper of the tavern. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I have bones in me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Willingham's whittling woodwhacker went to whittle too wild as a werewolf during the heist. Womp womp. And other surprising events. Uh, Matt Mercer, myself, was getting settled into his break from jamming, but we tricked him into coming back to work so he could grill him on the important campaign three questions. Sorry, me. Uh, the pizza party was a ruse, and I'm stuck here now. Uh, now, tell us who Estrosh the Secret Crush is. Mm. In other news, we found out Ashton's brain is filled with time goop, but is Talzin Jaffe going to share any of that pretty, pretty yum yum goop with the rest of the class? And is Liam O'Brien, and Liam O'Brien returns to the Tavern of Tales, but just for the slaps. Don't stray too far, because later on, we'll be playing Exploding Kittens, and whoever gets exploded will be asking our leftover tankard questions. I have so much excitement inside my human heart, which functions like this. Well, you know, there's like a bloodstream that goes through. Uh, and when it connects to like an aortic valve, or through an aorta in, in their valves that keep it pumping as different, you know, it's, oh, why is it so dark in here? I'm losing my vision. I'm, I'm gonna pass out. Welcome to a four set of dive. Let's, oh, 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 one, 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 oh, one, 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 end script. <laughs> Welcome back! It's time for our first segment, our freeform rectangular table discussion. What the fuck is up with that? Let's see what's on the menu for tonight, because we have a menu now. <laughs> All right, it we got right. topics, motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. uh, first up, skyship shenanigans. Yeah! We're in a skyship now! There is a new skyship! Sorry, I'm real excited. Good, then you start. Okay. Skyship! Oh, oh, we had a new skyship. I thought, I actually thought that we were gonna get the old model from campaign one. of oh, the paper layout? I still have yeah. it. Yeah, like yeah. brought back out. And then that thing with the gorgeous mm -hmm. gills came on out. With the dinosaur frills. Oh, the dinosaur, yeah. dinosaur frills and mm -hmm. the crystal battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which glowed. It glowed. That I was very happy with that. I've had that, had that commissioned a while back. So I was like, at some point in this campaign, pretty early in, you know, we've done, we did, you know, naval combat, you know, naval, maneuvering last campaign. We only had a touch of Skyship in the last one. Estros, if they keep going with this patronage, there's likely a good chance that, you know, there might be a Skyship in the future. Here. So oh, I man. went ahead and started get the commission going. Uh, and How long did that take? Uh, it took them maybe about, better part of like three months. <sighs> Casually, like he wasn't like. Dude, it's so good. I want to stay on it. There's I like really there's like planks of wood. If you get up close, remember there's like grain. Individual planks of wood. Yeah, beautiful like planks of the wood. Deck. It's the Ooh. best part of every old JRPG. Get your skyship. Just get your skyship. <laughs> Honestly, uncover yeah. the map. Yeah. Woo. If you're Anywhere. an adventuring party that's just driving to like a skyport and you keep getting thwarted, you're like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to get on that skyship. Technically not yours. It's Estheros. Not yet. We could we could we could just take, it take and be him pirates. Out. <laughs> Let's be pirates. We all keep trying to be pirates. That worked so well for us last game. Yeah, let's, really let, let's just let, like become the like the cruel but but uh, famous te Teddy Ruxpin's in the side. The guy, you know? <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin got a skyship. We get one. 
<laughs> Think about Teddy it. You did. Ruxpin. Try not to reveal the big bad of campaign. If you three, don't know what Teddy Ruxpin is, please look it up. And <laughs> marvel at its horror. And get it's one. Horrifying. And put batteries in it. And, and leave it in the corner of the room when the lights are low. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. wait for those batteries wait for, to slowly yep. die. And then one night. I want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nightmare fuel. Oh, I'm going to start like pouring out some Teddy Ruxpins and start making minis out of them that you could fight to the campaign. I assume, oh, man. I assume Sam had a bedroom made out of Teddy Ruxpins. Oh, yeah. I assume. I'm surprised he didn't voice him as a kid. Hanging from hooks. He also probably had like a circular... <laughs> Like shoot out of his room down uh -huh. to the front yard. <laughs> right. Probably like a fireman's pole. Sure. And uh. a train. And a train that like <laughs> went out to the living room. A rideable, rideable train. Yeah. Somewhere oh, between yeah. Mr. Rogers' neighborhood and Silver Spoons. <laughs> like, see, like, oh. with a hint of Pee Wee's play. We all like. Hint, hint of Pee -wee's it's like we all watched Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory for the first time, and he first opens the doors. Everyone's like, oh. and same as kids like, cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that tracks. Yeah. Watching Silver Spoons as a kid, he's like, I guess that train's big. <laughs> Uh, you know wow, what's weird? You know, shows that data is yeah. that. Uh, yep, I mean, uh, yep. I was addicted to that show. Um, yeah, it's a good show. Vax enjoyed uh, uh, the airship rides we took, but it wasn't mm -hmm. like the end all and be all. Scanlan couldn't wait. Percy couldn't wait, and mm -hmm. Vax was like, "Yeah, it's cool, cool." For I have no idea why Orm is in love with airship. He is so excited to be up high, and I don't know why that is. I didn't decide it. It just happened. I noticed that you just said Orem is in love with airship, not the airship, but in love with airship. airship the concept. Like, Jefferson you, Airplane. You love, you love mm -hmm. lamp. <laughs> Speaking of airship, <laughs> your shirt, which is super cool, yes. connected to your favorite movie. I can't help but un I can't unsee the three jets at the top really look like a propeller beanie on the top. A little bit. Oh no! No, <laughs> no don't do that! <laughs> Did you just ruin my new favorite shirt? <laughs> no! Jet propeller on oh, the I mean, head. Oh, There's we know to get you for your birthday now. Somebody's going to the danger zone. <laughs> you, oh. God damn it! No. Each each blade is my still childhood. shaped like a jet, but it's got a little graphic. It's got a little it's jet graphic just, on it. There's somebody at see my favorite movie. It's all of our favorite movies. Top Gun is, is it the though? Best. Yeah, I mean, it's very for different reasons. I'm sure. Yes. Bow, 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 Lots bow, of us bow, force bow. each other to watch our favorite bow, movies bow, for bow, our birthdays. Yeah. That was bow, 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 bow. that was Travis's. Uh, we can't continue this because you're on the rights. No, that's no, yeah, no. I wore that VHS out. That and Teen Wolf. Yeah. Michael yeah. J. Fox Team Wolf. Yeah, Big yeah. Team Wolf. Lost Boys is still above. We yeah. keep coming back to this movie as above Top Gun for me. But I only saw Top Gun recently. I haven't watched it 172 times. How is it Apples that you, how is it that you came to see the greatest movie ever made, Top Gun? So. One of my bestest friends forced me to watch it, Clockwork Orange style. <laughs> <laughs> It's birthday movies. We have rules about birthday movies. You gotta watch the birthday movie. Yeah. Oh, no matter yeah. how heavy it is. So much uh, he's rock and roll. Oh man. They keep playing volleyball. It just never ends. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. On a, on a parking lot covered in sand. It's a you know, there's so many great romances in that film that don't quite come to pass. I'm hoping Maverick can really kind of change the pace. I'm really excited. I'm genuinely excited for Maverick. <laughs> so back to sky ships. Uh, sure. I mean, speaking of the danger related, zone. It's related. Yeah. Indeed. It is, it is. No, uh, I never want to leave. Well, what what is what to you guys is the most exciting thing about skyships? I guess I should ask. We have four ballistas, first of all, on the skyship versus I think we only had like two. There's three in this one. Actually. Yeah, but yeah. in the first oh, one in the ballista. back and then two on the side. Yeah. That's yeah. right, that's right. Orem fell off. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, you are a fourth ballista for a short time. I hope to again ah. fall off. Yeah, I mean, it's just endless, expansive beauty in every direction. And you can, again, see the whole world map, all the clouds part, and you can see for miles. And I love the danger of uh, someone falling off. I, you might remember that when Oren got knocked off, and people were like, what if I can? I'm like, nah, let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let just me go. Come save me. Because yeah. it was a, just a, a titty, a titty bit close. We were just low enough to be like, uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I had mm -hmm. I had half a plan. Not I only had half a plan. I had zero. I was like, I can teleport out there and like that wouldn't have helped. I'm like, yeah, I got you. Oh no. Yeah. So thank yeah. God we had the witches on that ship though, because like everything with the worm and all that happening, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'll just watch. I can't reach <laughs> down there. I can't go down there. Yeah. Hmm? It's yeah. nice having a skyship at airship at lower levels. Because we don't have like teleport, we can't like poof, somewhere right. else. This is our quickest means of getting out of here. But it le it 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 left us, right? You will come for, back for a day. Because you guys are in very uh, 
very different territory than previously. It's only 24 hours? Yeah, we got shuttled in. Oh, we got to hurry they're, they're, they're having their own adventure where they're going to level up. It'll be great. Oh. Yeah, they're actually tackling the main story. Yeah. You guys are just kind oh, of good. chilling. They, they saw how Very we were doing, and they were like, we'll take Yeah, you know what? We got this. <laughs> Captain Xanus is like, these, uh, these are not the heroes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's fun. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see where things go from here. I'm excited for whenever you guys go to wherever your next destination is to, well, as long as you have the skyship at your disposal. Ship to, to ship combat. To, I'm just putting that out there. I'm ready for like a boarding. I, I, I ruined the last oh. time it almost happened. I ruined it. You did. Uh, so I want to, yeah. Airship to airship combat. Yeah, we need to, we need to, you know. And you could like jump ships and board and be on different levels and then like fall down to the other one. Right, you mm. swing the hook and you hook the two ships together and then you, you know. You can totally DM that, right? Two giant ships on a table. With a 500 foot. Platform. I could. Height differential. Oh God. Uh, That's another you thing have, is. You have to make enemies with people that have sky ships now. <sighs> Done. Through the whole game, like, do you have a sky ship? No. Hey, you? bitch, do you have an airship? Yeah. <laughs> no. We okay. gotta. We're yeah. just like specifically sure. Uh, I know. You just die. beat people and Take tell them your name. Maybe we can find a role. He's probably got one by now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Plus, oh yeah, how high can grudge. it go? Can yeah. we reach the moon? Well, we asked. Oxygen's a thing. Yeah, oxygen well, at a certain point, but also just the skyships travel quickly. Yes, and that, that's mostly what they're what they're really useful for. They, they can travel very quickly over other forms of transportation for shipping, for personal travel. Uh, but at a certain height, uh, winds become an issue. They aren't like anchored in the air. I got gust. Sure, you're right. You know what? Test that theory. Let's do that. <laughs> like the cartoon with, going like, with the oh penguin God. and the I'm here for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm so you say there's a chance. <laughs> uh, also, uh, next section of this fantastic menu is. Uh, Are there any sliders on there? Uh, like chicken wings. Yeah, can we get some they do. Like, sampler spicy, platter? Spicy mm -hmm. with a with their uh, everything. Their tofu though. Oh, sampler. Oh, we should platter. Honestly, I like tofu. I'm used to it. That's pretty, pretty good. Uh, new city, new friends. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess asking here, which is kind of fun that I get to ask you guys this, that I'm as the host. What were your lasting impressions of Drusar? Mm. They haven't seen the good shit yet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, well, eventually I'll sit down and actually talk about shit I know. I just didn't want to talk about it while we were walking. Well, there's yep. the big unknown, because like we chased away the Nightmare King and then crazy spider sack woman craziness. Yep, Shade Mother. <laughs> Shade Mother. Chilly. But that's totally unresolved. Like they just absconded and we ran and that's just still under there. Yeah, well, it's unresolved in the sense that you did turn in Lady Emoth. Katie. Yeah, and they are following up on that, and they do. Yeah. They are aware of the Shade Mother's nest below, so they'll probably take care of it themselves. Probably take. That sounds like they have real heroes when, like, the oh, real player characters no. going and <laughs> taking care of it. They get real people to come. It's in it's that's okay. It's all yeah. the kids of Vox Machina are in there right now. It's Vox Machina babies. <laughs> They're level nine. <laughs> yeah. They're cleaning up. They got, it feels they got to me everything. like the spinning orb of death, and we were like, you know, we're like, Here, there goes Keyless Arm. We're gonna throw a chair at it. It's fine, some holy people will take care of it. We'll leave and everything will just be cool. I mean, <laughs> it was kind back. of right. Oh, I look God. at it like the happy the happy fun ball. Like I want to know more about the the inner uh, caverns mm. and tunnels that are in there and what more could be in there and if we could make Matt invent it on the fly by rushing in uh, and not dying. You can. Just like the, the fun ball, like I, I could have spent another like oh, five games in the Easily, fun ball. easily just oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I think we only saw like the the sections that had been mapped, yeah, right, yeah, of the phone ball. We got yeah, like ten percent of it, map. about twenty percent, twenty percent of it. Yeah, there's, there's Damn. but potentially endless. Damn, we'll release that as a video game. If we never wanted to, <laughs> yeah, if we never wanted to go back to the world, we could have stayed yeah. in there, right? Hell, maybe maybe one day we'll release like a supplement or something that'll mm -hmm. have it in there. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. With all of our copious amounts of free time. And time works we crazy have... in the happy phone ball, right? It, it right, does. Danny. Danny, double thumbs. Oh. Fine. Danny, <laughs> Danny, does time Danny? work funny in the Yes, house? Travis. Time does work funny in the happy fun ball. In <sighs> fact, you can only do the time dilation. It's, time goes uh, slower in the happy fun ball than it does on the outside. But if so... you never go back, does it matter? Thanks, Danny. You're welcome. See? It is, it is slower, right? Slower? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sure. <laughs> I'm really good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, Oof. know everything. Know everything, Danny. Another you thing I like about point. Drissar, it, and it, it's it's different for, for sure, but it reminds Orem of home in that 
you've got all these amazing structures and, and uh, society built up, but there's so much nature woven in and around it, which yeah. is totally different from Iman, which is just, you know, the King's English. Yeah. That's true. It does, does pull kind of a, like a, a more advanced version of uh, Zephra mm -hmm. in some ways. Sure, you sure, know, like sure. Built, all built upon the, the peaks of a kind of a cracked, you know, mountain set ravine and everything. Uh, There's so much good stuff fun. they don't know about yet. I'm so excited. I know. It's well, so we'll, much good stuff. We'll see if we ever get around to it. We good, will. I'm going to force them. Marisha had a good page in her notes. It was near the front where she had the names of the spires and like the, the relative location to each other. And I am still wholly without that document myself. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note of myself. So I don't know where shit is. A map. I'd, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna email myself right now. Get Travis a map. I know. I would I would Can call. Can I also have that map? Yeah, sure. I, <laughs> send it to everybody. Fuck I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. I'll get it around. I apologize. That is on me. Knowledge is power. Uh, Just uh, make it like a big like a big snowflake on the page, and yeah. you'd be like uh, spire by fire, and yeah. this place here. This oh, place that's here. a good idea. Yeah. Marsha's got like yeah. color coded I'll pens do. and shit. It's fucking bonkers. But could you I'll do it like kids do, uh, like too. the Thanksgiving <laughs> pictures where they trace their yeah, hands? Yeah, just use your hand for the turkey. Like yeah. honestly, hey! the turkey. That's it. That'd be great. <laughs> I could do that. The middle finger's the course fire. Course fire. Get it a does, chart. It does kind of look kind of like that. Nah, yeah, that. A little, little, sure. little there. There's your map. Oh no, it's we gonna got happen it. now. <laughs> we got it for you, buddy. It's all you need. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> Just a mold of Matt's head. Uh, it's the shocker. Of course, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna oh, be no. like, a, like a cat's cradle thing. It actually has the yeah. actual wires connecting them too. Oh, We're that's professionals. Good. <clears throat> there we go. That's Drusar. Yeah. Uh -huh. You guys excited about Basaris? Well, you're fucking from there. That's why I, yeah, that's that's the crazy shit. Yeah. yeah, he knows he knows some of the fun stuff there. <laughs> yeah, there's some crazy shit. It's 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 interesting because I, I, Ashton hates this place, but at the same time, it's like going to like your hometown with your friends. And you're like, this place sucks. I'm going to show you this amazing bar. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh -huh. this place is just shit. Uh, they they serve reindeer meat here. Come on. Yeah, you're just. <laughs> reindeer meat. I've been thinking about Alaska a little bit lately. It's been a while since. Yeah. Been, like they put reindeer on pizza, and I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> That is cool. I had reindeer in Sweden a while back. Mm. It was like oh, that's right. really that, good. That was a while back now. Yeah, back when travel happened. It's yeah. different than deer. I loved Anchorage. Anchorage was lovely. Oh, it's beautiful up there. Yeah. It's rugged as. Bugs. I went to an anime con in Anchorage. I went to the same yeah. one. <laughs> it was, it was like, they were like, "Do you want to? Do you want to go?" And I was like, "Can I see a moose?" I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have wolves? <laughs> sure, we do. <laughs> I want to see a glacier. Moose. Yeah. That's when perfect. I went there as a teenager, <laughs> I went out on a boat and we was looking at like, uh, you know, ice and, and I saw a bald eagle land on a jutting chunk of ice in the water and American flags just like exploded out my ears. <laughs> oh, so yeah, you have to build a city there when that happens. Like, oh, that's, that's definitely... <laughs> well, oh, rugged, geez. rugged I've beauty. Never been. Uh, my cousin Ashley, I think, still lives there. She's always been like, if you want to come visit? I'm like, oh, I'll, one day. And so one day I'll get out. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We used to go out there and do like crazy fishing for weeks at a time. I did. Yeah. Well, okay. So some yeah. of the guys at Sucker Punch in Seattle go on this like salmon fishing trip and they're like, we need a third. Our guy dropped out. Can you come? And I was like, I like fishing. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I flew to Seattle, <laughs> Seattle to Ketchikan, Alaska. And then you hop on a water plane. And a water plane is just a coin toss that it lands correctly <laughs> in the water. Like we're going down. I was like, this is it, fellas. <laughs> it's dramatic. And they were like, shut him up. <laughs> we land in the water and it skips. I was like, oh God, we made it amazing. And it was like, uh, you pull up to a, a dock in the middle of fucking nowhere. And you get on a boat at like five, no, 4.45 AM. And as you're pulling out into the ocean, um, there's like whales cresting and otters holding hands because they're still asleep and fucking oh. bald eagles and shit. And you're like, Ooh. this is worth it alone. But it's also in the middle of nowhere. So there's no like crazy fishing or anything like that. So you just drop a, a lure in the water. And if it makes it to the end of the line, like it fully extends, it, that's pretty rare. They're just like fish everywhere. So it was amazing. Whoa, that's wild. Yeah. Just like in Bass. I know. Yeah, yeah, we went off, but it was worth it. Sorry. It was worth it. Sorry. Go <laughs> fishing in Alaska no. if you ever get the chance. It was <laughs> utterly worth it. It was very, <laughs> little, very <laughs> little fishing in Bass Rose, probably. Yeah. Damn it. Well, all right. It's well. a, yeah. I'm just expecting Black Rock City. It's not that, it's not that nice. Uh, well, it, it's not it's, that nice. <laughs> Bass, it's visually, maybe. Yeah. But it's yeah. definitely. Uh, Deathfield, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the, the visual 
kind of inspiration for the city kind of hits elements of uh, Mad Max mixed with like oh yeah like my favorite parts of Batu and I was going to say a little, a little yeah, battle yeah, angel like a little uh, battle angel yeah. yeah very much this this broken city that is built from the pieces that have shattered multiple times and the people that go through there and this kind of lawless but unspoken rules type of a society that's uh it's gonna maybe, be fun. Maybe it's gonna be fun. Escape to LA if like we were gonna like yeah. I'm gonna go yeah. into into the into oh wow the Kurt Russell verse. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah I could see that. I could see that. Carry that with me into the next game. It's yeah. kinda wild when they thought we were gonna stand out there. You're like, oh uh -huh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's that says a lot already. It's a, yeah. And uh, we wasted no time. Theater getting... troops passing through, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Clearly they have no money. And to that point, because uh, we've only really gotten there for half an episode, so mm -hmm. we're just kind of getting involved, but you did meet a new friend. Mm -hmm. Dusk. Dusk. Erica's character. Dusk. What are you guys' first impressions? She teleported to the top of a roof. She's, mm -hmm. she's, she not, did? she's not broken enough to be a local, which which is really, I'm kind of curious to see what, what ends up, what that whole story is about, but hmm. mostly just questions. I mean, we yeah. really just ran into her. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And yeah. then like, got into it. Now you're heading over to a taste of Taldore to go oh, get boy. to know each other. Oh, Going boy. to Planet Hollywood, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dread and excitement <laughs> and intertwined. I love I love that I have like the description of this place and nobody else other than Sam has seen the description of this nope. place. Mm. Yeah. So no one else knows just how insane this is going to yep. be. Only the characters that are from the city <laughs> yeah. get to know like, the information. I'm going to taste of Taldore. Uh, mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, so did you leave Basaras by cho choice or were you forced out? I left by choice. So you say. I left my choice. Okay. It's it's not a town where you like it, you can piss people off and have to leave, but like you know, they, it's kind of a good town for people who piss people off. Yeah, yeah. Actually, to that point, it has very much a like East Jesus Slab City vibe. Yeah, too. yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the people that that get exiled from other major cities or break too many laws and rules in other places, this is where you go, where you'll you'll be fine. Yeah, and, you if, can find work and if they here. really, if they really don't like you, you'll just vanish one day. They won't even. You'll just, you'll just vanish. Yeah, something will happen. Oh, quietly <laughs> in the night. <laughs> Concrete shoes. <laughs> little, little dead Woody. Kind of. Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. On a larger scale. You'll learn. You'll learn more about it as you go. Okay. It'll be fun. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. And some That's powerful people time. already. Yeah. It, well, it's, it's like you know how you 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 go to places in the world where you're like, wow, like what went wrong here? This is a place where nothing has ever gone right. So it's yeah, like there, it's now it's never about what went wrong. It's like why hasn't anything gone right? Yeah, it was a big throwdown in the street, and everybody just like watched, and then it was over. And they probably like, slightly through. disappointed that it wasn't bloodier. Yeah, yeah. Picked up oh. anything that of worth that was left behind, and went about the rest of their day. <laughs> it's fine. You're gonna be mm. fine. Yeah. Plus, there's like people around here. There's all <laughs> sorts of folks in the woods and surrounding areas. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure, we'll all make out of this. Probably place. safer to sleep out there. God only knows. That's true. I will also say, uh, based on. The travel that you've made in this campaign, other campaigns, and looking at this menu of fine topics to discuss, uh, what would you say is your favorite form of fantasy or fictional travel? Oh man, shit. I do love the, the I do love the ship. I'm lo loving the sky ship. Now, fictional, regardless if it's Ooh. fantasy, it could be any sort of genre. What What is your favorite form of like fictional travel? Anything, anything. Ooh, mm. I love a good teleport, an apparating, disapparating. You know, and just the way that it's portrayed. Mm. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Nemo kid. I love a submarine. I love, I love yeah. me a fantasy submarine, which is interesting because you know my issues. But yep. like, actually, as part of it is like that, like deep underwater freaks me the fuck out. I know. I love, I love the idea that you know. So is Abyss a, the movie Abyss? A I really dig the Abyss, or like even like Twenty Thousand Leagues, the old Disney one with that Nautilus yeah. that looks like you know, like you know, Buck Rogers rocket, steampunk fever dream. Yeah, yeah. 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 Two things come to mind. One is Blaine the Monorail in the Dark Tower series. There's a, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, like a long fallen futuristic uh, uh, civilization. It's fallen. And in this one area, they, they find a, a, like a monorail above, but the monorail is sentient and twisted. And it's a scary ride on the inside. So I'd like to be terrified inside Blaine. But the other thing I'm thinking of is those big, uh, Long-legged insect creatures in the Dark Crystal. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, uh, the Land Striders. Yeah, those yeah, are cool. those yeah. Are cool. Which is really some guy in stilts doing this, yeah. but <laughs> they got yeah. these cute little bunny faces that like are like super adorable and then like horrifying beneath. And yeah. I love the combination of it. Yeah, yeah. those, those things fun. are gorgeous. Yeah. Damn. Now I'm really trying to 
Right. We've, we've ruined everything, haven't we? No. Yeah, always. Yes. <laughs> Fighter jet is your. Is your yeah, uh, you like to fly by pinwheel. 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 Oh god! <laughs> and away! <laughs> that is transportation. No. With enough wind, I would say fan boats, because they can't be real. Oh yeah, that's just weird. Fan they? boat. Fan boat. I grew up in Florida. I know they're real, but they shouldn't be. Like oh. Zart. Like Zartan, Zartan and the Dreadnought. Zartan's fan <laughs> Oh no! Oh. Oh, the that's best, what we need. worst GI We need some more ever. fantasy fan boats. I'm gonna have someone build that now in the next swamp mm-hmm. you guys go to. You have to go ahead and forward your your Exandrian fan boat adventure. <laughs> like 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 a, a crystal behind the fan. I don't even know. Yeah, like just a, a trapped air elemental. They just like mm-hmm. prod. It's like fine. Do we know anybody? It's, it's a little magic land? circle that has points, and there's just an air elemental but it's stuck in like a centerpiece. <laughs> <That's horrible. laughs> Free him. Do we know has anybody been famous? on a fan boat trip tour? I have when I was very young. You were. I grew up in Florida, man. Florida, yeah. Yeah. I, it's not amazing. No, it's scary and loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't they, don't they give you like, Florida, please. I know. <laughs> don't they give you cans? They give you like earmuffs, right? They probably should have. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's in kindergarten. It explains a lot of damage now when you think a about kid, it. You were in kindergarten? Yeah. Oh no! Just like going on a two-hour ride with a lawnmower. And <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, Florida. Sorry, anybody lives in Florida for many many reasons. Oh. <laughs> Man. Anyway, yeah. uh, I think those are our, our, our nice round of the what the fuck is up with that topics. Yeah. Nice. The fuck? Which is awesome. So now it's time for a mandatory pull of a question from the Tower of Inquiry. 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 One of us must pull a block from the tower. Of Inquiry. Uh, and they read the number, and then he tells us the corresponding question and who asked it. And if the Tower of Inquiry falls, they will be dire. Consequences for the one who ruins yep. it. It will actually kill your character. No way! Whoa! Again. Whoa. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's bound to happen soon. No horrible, embarrassing consequences instead. And so, with that in mind, uh, uh, Liam, why don't you go pull a block? Yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> I did so well with the game at your house. <laughs> yep. That was fun to watch. That was a lot of fun to watch. It's, it's not, not the first time this week this has either. happened. Okay. Be very, very <laughs> oh, quiet. I I'm wouldn't even know quickly. where to start. I'm just going to lean back a little because I'm nervous. Way back. <laughs> okay, so we're saying one. It's a good thing this is glued together because it holds <laughs> still over so the sticky. weeks and months. Is it still sticky? It's still sticky. Uh, lessons learned. Yeah, I mean. Oh! Stalling turn! Oh, I love man. it. I love it. It builds up oh, the no. tension. Nope. What's up, baby? I'm so nervous for you. Huh. Yeah. Wow. All right. Zex, number six. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, excuse you? <laughs> Here, <laughs> now? Oh, I put it at the top right. You know yes. how to play Chenga. Uh, do I? Yeah. Yes, I've seen you do it. Not well. <laughs> nope. Number six. If your character was a part of the modern day era, what job would they have or what job would they like to have? Like a teacher, a doctor, a YouTuber. A That's s- a fun question. Wolf Girl Stewart at Twitter. Thank you, Wolf Girl Stewart. Mm-hmm. Wolf Girl Stewart. That's for all. all. Right. For all. For all. Oh gosh. A modern day occupation? Yes. Oh geez. <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> that <laughs> Orm would either be in the New York Ballet in Swan Lake, uh, oh. or he well, okay. might be like uh, a coach for track and field, <laughs> for, or or, or an athlete himself in the Olympics. I like that. I'd go, I think I go ballet. I think I go ballet. Water synchronized swimming. Synchronized maybe. swimming. Synchronized swimming is always an option. Only if Ashton came with him. Well, that. It's made of rock, probably sink. Mm. I don't think it would go well. <laughs> I think I think Chetney would be a woodworker. Because <laughs> that's oh. the normal occupation. Okay. Or like a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> but like wow. would r- really enjoy it. Probably like Dan Aykroyd, Little Shop of Horror. Uh, Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. I'm Martin, Steve Martin, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> you'll need a dad. A singing dentist. Oh my goodness. Oh, they all gotta go. Uh-huh. <laughs> One at a time. His one cavity's giving me a problem. <laughs> Sorry, the whole backside has to go. Oh, I slipped! I need so suction! <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna put my knee on your chest. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jesus, that face. Yeah. What about Ashton? I mean, that's pretty easy because, like, I, I will say, like, the like the most, um, most like punk ass asshole I knew growing up in in high school uh, had the same uh, job that like Henry Rollins had before he before he like went to be in a band, which is. He would work in an ice cream parlor. That's really like he would just he would just serve ice cream. It would be like just fucking like stone stone cold whatever you know. Cream. Hate it, yeah. Hate it and have no customer service whatsoever. But that's that's like the best shit job for a bunker that I can think of. Snotty little kid. I dig that. Out of there crying. It's just like yeah, you can steal some off the end of your shift. Yeah. Yeah, and just you the know. kids you like, you just kind of give them some scoops. Once Making you up your stories. If you, don't, if you don't like them, you lick the ice cream before you give it to them. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that's uh, maybe occasionally. Who's gonna you believe do. you, kid? Yeah, <clears throat> go cry. I don't really have a character. Don't you though? What's an NPC that you think would be a good choice to answer <sighs> this question for? Well, Estros. Estros is, is yeah. a good one. For yeah, actually, yeah, Estros. Oh. Estros would be. He'd be like a mysterious VC. <laughs> A <laughs> venture capitalist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he'd be like, he'd be like, he'd be like the kind of guy that would that, that would show up, you know, at like some coffee shop somewhere outside of a pub to like some young upstarts out of college that are trying to trying to put together their their startup, and he'd be like, so <laughs> are you into crypto? <laughs> yeah. oh, that ruins the that ruins the character. Oh, yeah. That ruins yeah, the lost, character. Yeah, he lost, yeah, he lost yep. me there. <laughs> Have you heard of this thing called the internet? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He 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 he. Venture capitalist is pretty. Venture capitalist, I think, would work for him. He definitely just look, looking for things to to invest in and, and and bring up. I could do my own cold stone ice cream now. I'm thinking about it. I could just just freeze up and just. Oh my god! <laughs> you would be your own cold yeah, stone creamery. Just, just, oh, what geez. about the shade yeah. mother? What was she doing today? Oh, society? Yeah. Uh, she'd be in, in season that. four of uh, <laughs> of Stranger Things. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Character actor. So character, yeah, yeah. yeah character right. actor. She and Alex Ward just like hanging out backstage, <laughs> you know, getting pissed and they steal each other's roles. What's up, Spooky that makes Boy? It. <laughs> Spooky Boy. Uh, that's pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, can we can we pull another one or do we, should we move on into another section? Okay. I think we should pull another one. But thank you, uh, well, well, Wolf Girl Stewart. Uh, uh, for oh, your the question. Names there, yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. Thing. Now look at that. Make Travis suffer. Travis, pull one. I really have to go? Yeah, yes. yeah he said oh, so. Suffer. Oh, no. Dad said so. You gotta There's do it. No oh, good ones. I'm yeah. dad today. Listen to me. <sighs> you have to do what I say. Oh, it really does look like a propeller. Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 Don't say that. <laughs> this is my greatest oh. day. <laughs> wow, Liam. <laughs> Dude, I don't even. Uh, tip tap, tip tap, it's moving. Tip, tap, tip. No, it's loose-ish. Oh, there you go. Okay. Look at that, like an expert woodworker. <laughs> oh, it's God. good to like oh, jerk oh, it. Oh, 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 it's too late now. <laughs> Concern. You're committed. Maybe Concern. send it back and maybe you gotta, yeah. Uh huh. Tiny vibrations. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Don't I don't think we were meant to see this. Hold your breath and. Oh, oh, hey. Good hey. job, buddy. Oh. 20. Really? <laughs> Do you need a second? I do. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I'm do proud I stand of you. here? You, you, only if Travis? you want to. Dad is proud. Uh, what would your character's Twitter bio look like? From yeah. at trash with a name on at Instagram. Trash oh man, with a name. Thank you. What would your character's Twitter bio? Twitter bio. Say. Oh man, <sighs> that's hard. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Other, other than a, it wouldn't have his real name. It would be C C Pac. Would it just be an egg? C Pac. Yeah, it yeah. would be a, a clever handle. C Pac no, Industries. It'd be an anime character. Yeah, anime anime <laughs> character. <laughs> anime character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, nothing but obnoxious political retweets. Uh, and I actually but, might just say that in the in the bio is nothing but obnoxious that uh, works political out. retweets. Uh, it would say and bands you've never heard of. It would say he him, no. Instant gratification. <laughs> 18 plus. <laughs> what other? I'm gonna link to your Etsy page. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that, did, yeah. that did it. That yep. did it. Yep. That was it. That was it. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, you'd be blocked so fast. Oh, no. <laughs> <That's fucking> terrible. <laughs> Yeah, I have a SoundCloud. I feel like you'd have a Tumblr, or I don't know if that's a thing anymore. 
No, Tumblr, Tumblr's, Tumblr's been a thing. refuge. God, since the dark days of Musk. It would be a lot of like workout routine <laughs> stuff. Uh, so that's a name. It would say it would say pie is better than cake. Mm, yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Oh, that's fucking. Which is cute. true. It's it true. is true. It's, it's a, that's that's, that's, lore that's nice. true. I'm sorry for everyone who disagrees and is wrong, but it's true. Can't also, argue with I'm so sorry. I put the wrong handle. It was actually from Scarfulu on Twitter. Oh, oh well, but, Scarfulu. But we love you too, Trash with a name. So trash with a name. We'll get you're great, and we'll you. get to your we'll question. Thank you, both of you. I'm so but sorry. also, Scarfulu, you're great, and thank you for the question. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. What else? Continue answering the question we chose. That one. I want hey. a shitty SoundCloud. I feel like that would also be. You'd good. have a shitty SoundCloud. Oh yeah, definitely. Does like that go in a bio? Some you put the link in your bio, or you put yeah. the link if something blows up. But I would never actually tweet anything uh, interesting. I like so. pinned pin no. it or something. Mine yeah. might have like a, a link to a YouTube channel of just like different workouts, probably. I like could see that. That's good. Day. That's good. Uh -huh. I'm gonna like a social media at some point. Like a fitness guru on, mm -hmm. on that. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you could be a nutritionist trainer, celebrity trainer. Mm -hmm. yeah. 100%, you'd make some like good vegetarian, high protein stuff. You know what I think it, it would be? It would, it would be your Twitter would mostly just steer people over to your Instagram, which would have all the videos <laughs> of you yeah. like, training wow. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, halfling your way to hell. <laughs> yeah. Halfling your way to oh. hell. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, oh, I don't like it. it. This don't is awful. Like it. Coin it. Boy, I wish I was as <clears throat> shredded as Orem. That'd be great. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh boy, who's got the time? Nah, not us. You just start with a big arm sleeve first. Just one, one thing at a time. Just one arm. Yeah. Just work on one. Oh, tattoos. Sleeve. Yeah. I meant. I meant. You know that when you get a full sleeve, it instantly makes you more buff. Does it? I, I think so. Okay, I guess I got. I mean, do look it. at Robbie Dave. Yeah, he's got that's both true. He's hot. Mm. Yeah, but he was. And he doesn't work out. At all. He hiked a he mountain hiked the other day. It's endlessly hiking. Just because you put it on the internet doesn't mean you actually did it. That's true. <laughs> he didn't. Jesus. You think they, he had himself flown in? He was covered in. <laughs> yeah. like, he was covered in. Sun. He's, he's, like, he's like, oh, it's the sprays. snow. Once you get above twenty six thousand feet, it makes it difficult. <laughs> Here are my shoe chains. I was like, where the fuck? Man, is there's Robbie? a shop in the mall hold where on, they'll like photograph on. you in anything you want. Hold on, oh, let me get my glycerin on. spray. Tss, tss. Oh my god, <laughs> we made it to the top. Glycerin sweat. I I'm call bullshit in this conversation. This is for you, Robbie. <laughs> you piece of shit. Stop summoning stuff. Stop being making so us feel bad. Hot. Mm. It makes us feel Would bad. You, yeah, don't your fuck kids. up the curve, No, man. it doesn't. It makes us thirsty. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. No, that was, that was good. What NPC should we pick? To? Oh, good question. Um, oh, wow. Um, what about the ship What about the ship captain? Oh, Xander. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Oh, uh, they would have all pronouns mm -hmm. <laughs> at the top, all caps. Uh, <laughs> infinite pronouns. Uh, yeah, uh -huh, infinite pronouns. Uh -huh, yeah. Um, uh, Free spirit, seeing the world, we'll do it all again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that voice, I can't. With, with the punctuation, too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it all again. Link tree to my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> but it's mostly can't, them. You can't say OnlyFans. I was about to say, I can't say, can't say that on Twitter. <laughs> um, what, about, what about our museum curator? Oh, oh yes! Oh, How oh, we oh, Heitroga. Yeah, Evan Heitroga got a TikTok. Uh, no, he, his would be. No, his his would be like like the the quintessential boomer Twitter where it's like not quite done right. <laughs> it's just like a a picture of him from like high school. And there's like way too much text, and he signs it at the end of it, and all of his tweets oh, he wow. signs. <laughs> and <it's, laughs> they're like poorly filtered photos that have like been scanned in, but not like cropped properly. You can see the white on the outside. Like, yeah, it's it's real Ow. bad. Ow. Guys, Some of them are in all caps. This yeah. is links to his GeoCities page. <laughs> this is the deepest lore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is good, you guys. This is good. We really should do this as like a marketing outreach. This is, this it's, is what we need. It's, it's a good character exercise in general. Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, just what what would your character social media page look playlist like? Playlist out. Yeah. Social Fuck media you, playlist. <laughs> I love this plan. Selena Gomez. Bye bye. Still, exactly. Still keeping their MySpace page alive. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, oh. Is that up? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Tom's yeah. like the one dude that made it out okay in the end. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. MySpace. He's out there seeing the world. Okay. Tom, wherever you are. Thank no, you. We're still friends. Doing the work. Yeah. The drama of who was in your top, top eight 10. in my heart. Indeed. Yeah. 
Oh, you I need to pull it out too. About that. Oh my god. Oh, is it time? You made a move. Out? It was like a thing. Yeah. How do I go last? I Fuckers. I really fucked with the stability of the overall Clearly. thing. So I'm sorry. That's okay. Danny, harass him. Oh, I. Ha, you're weird. You're not though. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. She was great. Ah, you're weird, uh, but you're not. You're really she cool. She said, you're "Really wonderful." And I love Danny. you. I love you're you. You're weird. She said, I apologize. You've been around weirdly. for a thousand years. Uh, oh! It scared me. You that can't was do that. forceful <laughs> and authoritative. You, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. Where well, it goes on the top. Are you gonna throw it? Don't don't mess it up. Scared right now. Oh. Talus, the next well person who does that, that was Lord of Darkness. <sighs> if your character was a candle, what scent would they be? <laughs> Lord. From Amy von Lewin. Amy, Amy von Lewin von from Lewin? Australia. Thank you, Amy von Lewin. Oh, Unique man. question. Oh man. Oh, I got wow. nothing but that suggestion. <laughs> I mean, there's some, there's some good, good, I mean like, what, what, I can. The scent of rusted pennies. <laughs> the scent of birch, pine, oak. Cherry. I mean, some of those are real candle, candle I scents right there. Yeah. yeah. Rusted pennies. I don't know if that. No, exists. not that I found. Unless you know, bad candle. Died. There's probably a bad candle. I'm candle. sure there's a <laughs> shitty <laughs> smelling candle. Specifically, source. intentionally. City area bad oh. dragon. Yeah. Oh bad wow, candle. bad candle. No. <laughs> awesome. no. 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 I hate you. you can no, me. don't take it and run. Put it down. Drop it. You can homebrew anything, okay? <laughs> I was, magic of RPGs. <laughs> I was gonna say sandalwood is definitely in the, but yeah, like uh, any of the any mm, of the plant ones. Sandalwood. I feel like I feel like again, like such basic like, non uh, nag champa. If they like like make a, a candle that just is like overpowering, I in that direction. Don't know what that is. Nag champa. That's like the OG. Well, yeah, I should is, say college incense. That's like, that is that is the college incense yes. of the 1990s. Every head it shop is, and every college, uh, you're like, yeah, oh, it's in the little blue incense. box, and it's like it's, I probably smelt it and just didn't know what it was. Hundred percent. Okay. There's yeah, no it is. It is the incense smell of someone who knows nothing. Like it. Yeah, it's it's the Budweiser incense. They I'm sell. Really, they sell I, I mean to it because I love it. I do love it. Yeah, they sell a starter kit at a head shop, and it's like a pair of bongo drums, nog chamba, <laughs> like your yeah. own little hacky drum. sack. And yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. It's a hacky sack of. It's a hacky. <sighs> Let's be real. Yeah, I feel bad because I really like the smell of it quite a bit. I own some nog chamba. It's a good choice. I really love it. It's a good choice. I thought it was real. Pretty. I don't know. I don't know what it would have <laughs> actually be. Actually. How would you mix sweat Probably and cherry so blossoms? Do. What would encapsulate Ooh. that? Um, I don't know. Sweat. I mean, we could just cherry. say cherry blossom. I mean, cherry, cherry blossoms, blossoms really. It has to be sweaty. I kind of want must. cherry blossom with yeah. a little salt in it. Yeah, a, sure. a sea breeze cherry blossom. Smell like the beach. Oh, beach in spring. <laughs> that was inspired. Thanks. Mm. I, I I dug real deep. <laughs> That's I'm all I got. There. I'm useless for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got that out. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> from Australia. Hey. This question. Wait, wait, wait. I want to know oh. what Eshtaros smells like too. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. I guess I'm super curious about what he smells like. I mean, oh, he'd be. He's a musky he's, bastard. Yeah, he's yeah, like, uh, yeah. He's got like Sex Panther. Uh huh. <laughs> where it stings the nostrils. <laughs> yep. Sixty percent of the time, it works. Every time. Puts it, when you put it on, it stings like fuck. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I. You have to yell. Oh. This. This is where my my. My knowledge of the the diverse plethora of incense types and names does not come to my aid because I have none. Uh, <laughs> I could like be like the one that one time that Mercia lit when we were on vacation. Does yeah. Mercia have a shitload of incense? Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we come up whenever we're on about, but I never remember what they're what they're called. Uh, so you I probably just throw... smell nice things at the house, but you don't know what they are. Yes, you could throw two words together together and probably name a couple accidentally. Sure. Yeah. You oh, know what? Pumpkin pie candle is like immediately where I would go with that. Oh, that, those smell really. Oh, I, 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 I will say, kind of like a like a like a ginger spice, ginger for, spice. from the baker aspects of mm -hmm. them, probably because that is those scents do carry on him from his baking time. God, mm -hmm. pine is nice. Uh, beyond that, I would say like a like a like a musky cedar for the inside of his dark. Oh. You know, uh, his study where he trains as well. Like that would make sense, I think. So the book leather. I was there. a real simple bitch in college, and so I would buy like vanilla cinnamon candles oh, for my apartment. I thought so I was so old. cultured, <laughs> but just only vanilla cinnamon over and over and over. I think I also got one of those little like rock fountains. <laughs> you start having like sense memory when you walk into a Bed Bath and Beyond. You're just like, whoa! I, I like I don't know what feels oh, worse: early the fact odds. that it's true or the fact that I can utterly see it right now. Uh -huh. I, I feel bad by how how well uh -huh. I can see it. Listen, guys. Culture happens one step at a time sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you take it where you can get it. Dang right. Fuck! 
we're measuring your progress in de decades, Travis. Decades. It's okay, Mav. It's okay. <laughs> If you have a quick and dirty evergreen question oh, for our no. slightly less sticky tower of inquiry, you can enter it at critroll.com uh, slash tower. Oh, God boy. Damn. And now I think you move into the next segment. We have another of our, the, the next phase Buzz. of our four-set of dive, Buzz. the deep dive. Now we're going to take turns pulling questions from our tankards, and since I'm the tavern keeper, I'll be kicking this one off. Danny, what's on the menu for today? Yeah, Danny! Yeah, Danny. Danny Carr! Tankards, and they have questions in them. Tankards! Thank you, Danny. Oh, look, oh. Like, yeah, I beat the fucking... Thanks, the guys. Uh, that one's Oh, that's me. Look at that Perfect. Stare at it for a second, yeah. like, what, what am I holding? Ten. Don't look at it. Tankards away. Oh, yours is right. nice. Yours kind of has that, like, uh... Holy Grail from Indiana. That's exactly. Yes. That was exactly. Of a carpenter. I was just trying to get there. That was exact. Damn. The, the awesome. thing I asked for. I can. I can. I can see what's going on in your mind. I'm glad he you guys picked that one. Wisely. Yeah. I'm glad people picked up on that. That makes yeah. me happy. <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> uh, well, first, uh, uh, oh. we all, all take turns <laughs> pulling one by one. The questions and then answering it. So we'll just go we'll start with clockwise. Uh, with, uh, with you, Liam. Why not? Me. Real, real clockwise this time. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Actual clockwise. Okay. okay. Listen. Yeah. Okay. I got one. <laughs> Bizarro clock. What you got? Uh, Vax hmm? was closely connected to the clasp in campaign one. What is it like to see clasp connections pop up with Spiraling Shen and Gianna Hexum? Oh yeah. All the way in Marquette. I mean, not specific just to that thread, but. I can't really fathom, Maddie, how all the little uh, lines, little golden threads going back to campaign one and, and even to the home game that have run all the way, all the way up to here in everything we do. So, I mean, of course, fucking dope seeing Spiraling Shen, who's someone we've been talking about for a long time, suddenly pop up like a gopher. Um, but I love it. I love with everything we do, it just feels like the, the the tapestry gets a little richer and grows, and and but it's all connected to each other. Plus, I think we get a little bit more about like the spiralings because I I remember them from campaign one. I remember they were in the beginning of the very first comic book issue, mm -hmm. and then other than that, like I'm still a little bit in the dark on how that whole structure works. I think me and Sam both. <laughs> <laughs> Sam was like. I was not spiraling what? <laughs> yeah. So it's, each each right. each major city that has clap uh, clasp involvement has a has yeah everyone has to get the clap they have to mm -hmm. have the clasp come in and part of the there. part of the induction <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. yeah the druids usually help but since the ashari absconded they gotta they gotta work with whoever they can get um, no the, the spiralings are essentially the the collection of of leaders that maintain and organize those different sects of the clasp wherever they are. And uh, we've seen the f quite a few of them through mm -hmm. the adventures as the years go on. Mm -hmm. but Shen has definitely been one of the the power players in Amon for quite some time. Mm. I mean, I knew that. I'm, I'm glad everybody else knows that. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, yeah. And they're popping up in in Kamek books, and they popped up. In Look, in Kamek. Kamek. I will say, I will say, my my, my dream since uh, I was very young and started playing these games was to have a campaign or a series of campaigns that went long enough that I could begin to like connect threads. And have elements of the world continue to feed into each other, to feel real and, and breathing, and and like the fact that we're now going into campaign three, and I get to do more of this is like the most fun I'm having, and yeah. So anyway, I'm just I just wish it showed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking miserable. Uh, maybe put some of that enthusiasm in your actual GM. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't all be Bradley Mulligan, okay? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I love it. I mean, I even love just in my own small little way in, in putting together Orem and taking what Matt and Marisha made with Zephyr and everything is just taking the, the knitting needles and going like, oh, I'm just going to knit a little a little uh, line of warriors that live there too. They're just in the corner. It's not the overall end all and be all of that society, but they're there now and I've woven them in to, to, to everybody that existed before and I love... I don't know. I love. I love this collaboration. That's this mm. years-long collaboration. It makes me so fucking best. It's right. like self-sustaining too, right? Like that's the that's the best part is you can add to it, and then it like creates another wrinkle, and then another mm. wrinkle, yep. and another ripple, another. Ripple. Every character backstory I get from whenever any anyone makes a new character for a campaign or to replace a character that dies. Wow. Like it's another, it's another cool facet and opportunity for you guys to pass a ball to me, and then to me eventually the story pass it back to you, and it. Ah, I just I love this collaboration so much. That's what was so great about having Robbie come in because it had so much attached to it. And so, like when Erica's character comes in, she's like, "Dusk," and jumps through a roof. She's got a sword, and you're like, "Okay, but 
gimme. <laughs> Who are you and what do you know? <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> like, all right, well, I'll RP it next time. But who are you? <laughs> just want it now. Mm -hmm. You just got to finish up Calamity shit first and then we'll get back to it. Oh. <sighs> oh, oh I love it. We're going to so win. Much. Don't worry. We're going to win. Yeah. I, you guys <laughs> are going to stop the Calamity. That Kobe is going to be fine. just fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna show up my. I'm gonna show up my Maru. Everybody in this building is is really randy about calamity right now. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. true. It's so good. Oh god, you ever, all of you, all of you, Fuck, all yeah. of you are doing so well. Yeah, it's doing so good. Ugh. I did not respect the calamity uh, like enough. I just don't think I understood it. Well, I think it was actually, I think it was just just vague or just removed enough from history to to not give it the credence that it deserved. And being being able to see it through this lens, it's so telling because you. You understand what happened, but you understand also what like what was normal in that time, and that has all just been erased, gone mm -hmm. from history. Like that, the entire understanding is just. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to. How how many years ago was the calamity at this point? Uh, like, the calamity is well over a thousand years. Okay, it's about yeah. a thousand. And, a thousand and the calamity was a, a, a period of time. Yeah. Like it wasn't like a major battle. It was a series of things. Um, so like it's it, it's the equivalent of us going into history class, and learning about the Crusades, or learning about oh, way, way, you know way the Fall of Troy, yeah. like like things. That are practically mythological at this point. So unless you're a very deeply in, you know invested historian, you kind of have a passing knowledge. Oh yeah, that happened a while back. That's kind of wild. And even those that are historians are still scrapping together information because, it, based on who survived, who wrote the books, and yeah. who wanted what elements sure. the calamity to be remembered. Yeah, because Victor's right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. It's like the quantum leap version of history class where you you're, you actually are in it. It's not what people know or what was said or what was <sighs> written down. It's like. It's fucking happening. Yeah, and you're like, uh, oh god, <laughs> how do I? What do I fix? <laughs> yeah, it's everything that we were crawling through in Aor, and then suddenly rapid fire rewind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's so hard yes. turning that part of your brain on yeah. too, because you're like, is this? Is this? <laughs> I, I don't know anything. <laughs> and I'll get a little like inside baseball here, but like I've I've wanted to have something happen in that era of the Age of Arcanum Calamity for a, a long time. And uh, it, it wasn't until we were talking with Brennan about like possibly running something, you know, a while back, and we were talking about different things and mentioning the Age of Arcanum Calamity, and he just went like, "We'll talk about that one." And then he just kind of continued to to create this amazing thing. We've been, you know, collaborating here and there on like lore stuff and building it out together. But this is, I take no credit, you know, beyond just like helping. Build lore and and you know keep everything in line and, and giving ideas and stuff like that. But he's just running with it and doing such a good job. You know, from like uh, Abria and him, just other great examples of other ways to play the game and how to run it, and how to tell stories with your players. And I'm just so excited that this is happening. Fucking wizards. Fucking wizards. Fucking wizards. New storytellers. Mm -hmm. Storytelling wizards. Oh god. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Dude, it's anyway. Mm -hmm. Clockwise. Oh. They're all the same, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Not that they're all the same, it just doesn't matter. Uh, how is Ashton feeling about returning to Basaras and uh, the prospect of finding the nobodies? Well, I don't necessarily think they're there, first of all. Maybe somebody went back, but like, like they could be anywhere. I certainly don't know if I would want to go back if, if I'd gotten out. And this is not where I'd be going if it weren't for you fuckers. Um, Sorry. <laughs> not sorry. Yeah, not 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 really not really a person who likes to look back or ever like deal with things that were in the past or really touch any of that because it's uncomfortable and and the, the future is always there already. So this is not what t what kind of terms did you leave on with them? I mean, everything went bad. They put you back together. And I then... haven't seen them since. So like that night bunch of hazy ass memories mm -hmm. and then everybody was just out. Yeah, uh, yeah, everybody but Milo just booked out like an like an uh, the worst bank heist gone wrong yeah. and they yeah. just dumped you. Oh, that's and, primed and for. I just assumed that they scattered to the four winds that like no like I I don't know but that's what I would have done is just scatter into the four winds. And we saw flashes we saw some flashes of their faces yeah. right. So it wasn't like they just left you for dead. Like, no, they got me they out of there and then you were out. Yeah, they were but they they knew that you can't stay in town. I couldn't get out anyway, so. Yeah, that will be a conversation that happens. Were you close with anybody in the nobodies? All of them. Thousand? No, I mean like close. Like close. All of them. 
No. <laughs> Ashton, yes! I, Ashton, I can't speak to, but me, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, no, and like, it's going to be interesting because there's going to be some terrible, uh, like, there's there's some, like, really irritating history there. But also, it, again, I said this earlier, it's like, it is like going to, to your hometown with your friends where you're like, this place is shit. Oh, this bar is amazing. So there's a bit of that, like, uh -huh. this is a shit bar, I gotta take you. and yeah. Which also has like a 10% chance of maybe you'll find somebody in that place. Somebody, there. there's definitely some people around who probably, it's a hard face to forget, so. Uh, yeah, and Matt Matt's already looking at me like he's gonna murder me, so that's okay. So, mm. yeah, I have a lot of characters. I like writing <laughs> characters who don't want to deal with their shit. Like, like I really enjoy characters who are not like out on a quest. They are just running from shit. I yeah. Percy was running from shit. Had no interest. Uh, I know, Molly, yeah. no interest in their shit. Like actively was like, don't know, don't care, fuck off. Could, and like, yeah. These, Cad love, was the exception that proves the rule, right? Cad, oh, Cad was the exception because he wasn't, like there was nothing to run from. He, right. he was Captain America. There was nothing wrong with him. It was the world that's broken. We're all shit. Yeah. There's oh, nothing boy. to run. Yeah, you don't have to fix, he was already fixed. Mm. You know, he's like, you know, he's fine. Oh gosh! Made him the perfect deep. addition to that. Part. Yeah, he Someone was like, so broken. we needed someone who was <laughs> yeah. who was you know grounded enough not to have a personal issue. So it worked out well. I love mm -hmm. it. Hell yeah! <laughs> Fuck the past. Anyway, you're. Oh, yeah, I should probably pull in. Okay. Da 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 da. Question. There you go. Oh. We're heading into Basaris and the Hellcatch Valley now, oh, and nice. experiencing a very different culture from Drusar and Hartmoor. What was it like to create and collaborate on this lawless valley? Ooh, yes, this is a great question. Lawless. Uh, so, Lawless. Um, I've had the, uh, the fantastic opportunity since before even the campaign started to begin collaborating with some amazing people to kind of flesh out uh, the cultures and, and spaces of Marquette. Uh, and both because I don't have a lot of time, and also <laughs> I want to make sure that everything is done with respect and that people can actually create and you know speak from uh, their own cultural backgrounds too. And so, uh, for the Hellcatch Valley in particular. The wonderful uh, Bashir Gauss mm -hmm. uh, has been helping right with this, and the collaboration process for me has been: I've I outlined essentially the, the continent's main regions, and certain ones I, I definitely kind of like Drusar and you know elements of the Odiran Wilds are primarily my creations, and then go through you know consulting and stuff like that. But other regions that I, I basically laid out on the table and spoke to each of these collaborators and went, which which one speaks to you? Which one do you want to go ahead and and run with? And uh, Bashir specifically was like Hellcatch Valley. That that's right up my alley. So damn. Uh, and so from there it was it was me then having multiple meetings with them and talking about this is kind of the vibe I want for it. This is how it sits between the other regions and how it connects and kind of interacts with the other cultures nearby. Here's some of the history to the space and kind of the the general biomes and and geography of it. But beyond that, what inspires you? Go. And so it, like like Basaris was the one city there that I really kind of, because it was based on your backstory, that mm. I had a lot of kind of strong feelings for, uh, but after that, I was just letting him go. And then he'd come back and uh, with all these cool areas and spaces and ideas, and we do notes back and forth and then have meetings and kind of talk about what things you wanted to develop more, what things need to be tweaked a little bit, begin to connect some of the other collaborators and writers to make sure that areas where their regions kind of intersected and stuff, we were all on the same page for, and uh, that that was kind of the process. And, and as we began to kind of bring together, didn't have a lot of major notes because Bashir is super talented and is an amazing creator and writer. And uh, he's very excited to see you guys getting to explore some of the spaces that we've created together. And uh, it's gonna be fun. So if we find ourselves in mortal danger, we're not just cursing your name, mm -mm. we're cursing Bashir's name. Yes. <laughs> okay. We are both at fault. Uh, I need his number so I can get a text thread where I we can accost him. Will protect him because <laughs> mm. he is uh, wonderful and should be protected. I'm excited for the greater exploration because it's that moment where you know you spend the early part of a campaign usually in one place and then yeah. you start to mm -hmm. branch out and it feels, especially with an airship, it just feels like any direction, limitless. So I can't wait to dig in because we yeah. just again we just got there. That's the worst, uh, worst and best part about getting a new map is that especially after like. The ruins of Aeor, when it was like A1, A2, mm. A question mark. Now we look at a map and we're like, what does it say? What are the hidden things? Are there little things in the drawing? Why'd you Why draw that? Why is that drawn there? What does that Why mean? Why is there yeah. nothing here that yeah. doesn't make any sense? Uh -huh. There's well, never nothing. Well, there's also, not every map you get is going to have everything on it. Mm. Yeah, it's true. It's only Just at the time this, of drawing. Yep. Or whatever's important to the person that had the map mm. commissioned. 
It's always different coming into a, a, a different topographical area that has inherent, like, <laughs> repellent barriers around where you're trying to go. You know, like being up in, in Jorhas was like big spires and everything was deadly and like gravity in the area was weird, but you know, like giant fucking holes in the ground that are like, you can see from the sky. Mm. Why? <laughs> I don't know. You should I go mean, to one. Aside from those, the giant where the, Oh yeah, the we're obviously going to have to try mm -hmm. and ride. <laughs> You really, you really want to do that, don't you? Uh, two chisels in its back and right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for them. We're walking along the ground and we feel a little and it just starts to go right where we are. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we do like just belly of the whale. Yeah. I should be glad you guys have a skyship. Just don't fly it too high and don't get caught in a dust storm. And a what storm? Dust storm. It, you know, it's a storm. Maybe. I know what it is. I'm just you saying. Were look, you were looking very confused. No, I'm just trying to figure out what it means. Is there like a dust dragon that comes with it? Is there a dust giant that's got like, like got wings? Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe it's a jetpack. Uh -huh. We'll be fine. I cast Father Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just like zip lining down. <laughs> Where's Orm? Oh God, he did, he's off the boat. Oh my God. All right, you're up. Oh, I'm up. Yeah. Okay. Dig, dig, dig. Uh, oh, give us a peek behind the EXU curtain. Tell us about Serret Pinch yes. Agrupnin and what it's been like experiencing the Age of Arcanum. Woo! Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, there were there were a bunch of people pick, pick, picking magic classes, obviously, because it's the Age of Arcanum, and there's wizards, and there's sorcerers, and there's bards. So I felt like I had to rep a little bit of just that straight melee class. Um, but as we were talking about it, and as Brennan started to give us the basic foundation of what we were going to be covering and how fucking detailed it was, I was like, okay, I want to be, I want to try and be like an investigator that's trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Because if everybody is like large captains or key players of the city, there needs to be somebody that's trying to connect the dots that others are, are missing. Um, and as the story started to take shape and that fucking name came across, Vespin Chloris, I was like, wait, so in the timeline, has this just happened? He's like, yes, very recently. And I'm like, does anybody care? And he's like, you could find out. Like, that's that's what I want to do. I want to be like, <laughs> I based him off of John Cusack in uh, Con Air. <laughs> 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 Wait for it, <laughs> because you, if you remember John Cusack's like the shitty FBI agent that nobody takes seriously, but he goes into John Malkovich's cell and he starts putting it all together and he tries to tell everybody it's going to blow up, look out for the lunchbox, but they don't look out for the lunchbox. <laughs> I'm John Cusack. Oh yeah. Why didn't you have him in that white suit then? <laughs> Wasn't it like a white, like a uh, linen suit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There are only some things you just can't do. <laughs> um, and then outside of that, like, uh, Serret is, uh, he's a bird person. He's an ice fura. So I have always thought they were fucking really, really cool along with cat folk, even though I'm allergic to them. So I thought it was a great excuse to do that and play a rogue because it's a plus to dex racial bonus, right? Yeah. So uh, that mixed with making an inquisitor rogue Holy shit, the stuff you get as a rogue yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Like his perception, investigation, insight, and I think stealth. Like you can't roll roll below a 10 for a proficiency. Yeah, whatever like, you choose, you cannot fail. Minimum 23 on most things. It's nuts. Like I rolled mm -hmm. a 31 or two in my first roll. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> now, if a fight breaks out, I can only hit you once. <laughs> but you know, the rest of it is all built to be like, shh, uh, uncanny dodge, this reaction. Or you can drop somebody uh, with one toss. That's true. That's true. That's, you're talking about sneak attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, what you did, what happened. There's a bonus action. You, I don't know if you know this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Go on. Go <laughs> on. Insightful fighting where you can roll to beat someone's deception check and then you just can sneak attack. Yeah, regardless. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's so fucking cool. nasty. But I mean, the bonus. Anyway, it's cool. My guy's fun. And during the character creation stage, uh, I, jo I joked for five seconds that he would be like a gumshoe. Like, nah, the dirty rats in the city torn down on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just kidding. And they're like, you coward. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. Bria, Bria bullied me into it. I was like, all right, fine. Let's do it. 
Hell yeah. <sighs> but it's, it's been a Watching awesome. Watching uh, the episodes, there are two full wizards and there's you doing fucking rogue shit. I am just heart eyes the whole time going like, <laughs> yeah. I watch it, I'm watching you in Calamity and I'm like, well, I got, just got to do a rogue again. I got to do yeah. a rogue again, going back to the well. You know, the, the most, br- at least for me, the most brilliant thing about it is that you could tell me what the premise of the story could be. You could write it down and I could read it. It would not have the same delivery and absorption as, I, I, this probably goes without saying, as playing it. Because we have all the facts as they were known in front of us. We have all of the clues as they're available to us and we're still getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. Like we're not putting it together. We're like, I'm doing my fucking best and it's still like slipping through our fingers and it's happening real fucking time. That and betrayal and selfishness. I love it. It has that feeling of like, of two shipmen uh, looking out in the night in the sea going, is that, that kind of looks like an iceberg. That can't be right. It's planet check Venus. My Let me yeah. check my notes. It's planet yep. Venus. Hmm. It's like you're figuring it out, but <laughs> just not fast <laughs> enough. I love it. I love yeah. it so much. Because well, the rogue is my favorite type of rogue too. I'm really? happy. I'm happy to see one played at that level because like Oof. it's exactly what it's about. The, the one, it is. It is the, the the best build to be a skeptic and a seeker of yes. truth. Yes. Yes. I don't know what a. I mean, la- like, lawful good feels like how he's supposed to be like a bastion mm-hmm. of moral principle. You know, upstanding code in a city that's just a muck with yeah. ambition and power. Mm-hmm. But man, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I envision the Cobalt Soul actually has yeah. trains up a lot of inquisitive mm-hmm. rogues. If we're looking at like that, the class implementation there, are the spiralings the dark mirror of that? In a way, yeah, mm-hmm. you could say Ooh. they're more the masterminds mm. uh, and inquisitives as well for the other purposes of protecting their own shit. Uh, I will also say while we're, before we finish up talking on the calamity too. Uh, also, a big shout out to our amazing Danny Carr, who's been helping as our lore keeper to yeah. to help Danny Carr as well and keep things going well. I'd make a rubber. Danny Carr, you're amazing. Nice lore keeper. Yeah. I don't know why I'm curtsying behind a bar. That's just silly. Okay. <laughs> Danny, you're invaluable. You have golden threads in, ev- in we love everything you. we do. Mm. We love Thanks, you. man. I love you guys Bye. too. Do we have time to do one more lightning round? Sure, fast. Cut. Let's do it. Mm. Make them quick. Uh, make them quick. quick. Oh yeah, sorry. Vomiting stuff. Uh, how has it been bonding with Chetney? Orem told him about his tattoos and gave him the uh, alarm horn, but also saw his tense interaction with the woodworker Zadro. What does he think of his like and friend? Yeah, I mean, I think he was rightly super skeptical of Chetney uh, mm-hmm. first blush, but oddly finds himself really getting along with him. What do I want to say too? I also feel like you love me, Chetney. Getting there, <laughs> Chetney kind of feels like a, a casual grandpa slot for him, <laughs> yeah. and that's fun to be around. That's like comforting to be around. Uh, there's some issues we got to work through. Some things. You might have some anger issues, <laughs> but uh, what? <laughs> but Pop Pop's got a good heart in there. <laughs> Pop, pop. Yeah. Oh. Just needs his fiber. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'll say this too, like uh, uh, Orem is, compared to a lot of this group and compared to my other, to, to Vax certainly, is, is reserved and respectful. And just like, he's not there to be like, well, let me burden you with all my shit. So he, he's just carrying it around. And it's, it's doesn't, it, you know, he's, he's fine. He's, he's dealing with his own personal stuff. And Chetney's really the only person who's gone poking in. I and he's not, see, Orem's not it. secretive. He's just not like, listen, man, I gotta. Yeah, I'm yeah, not. no. It's accessible. Mm-hmm. That was great. Like, it was great sitting in that in that treetop and having that combo and it just like coming out and like, to me, no worse person to have that conversation, conversation with than Chetney, but it just like took on the best shape because mm-hmm. Chetney really is interested in like the good people being good and the, in his mind, the bad people being bad. <laughs> and so like he relishes the people that are like, Virtuous and upstanding and all that. A very Eddie Brock of you. Yes. Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> That's it. Lightning. You're up, Ash. Uh, oh yeah, lightning, sir. Shit, fuck piss. Alright. This is what this character has done to me. Uh what was the inspiration behind Ashton as well? This is a big one, as well as the fundamental chaos aspect of your class. Uh Oh wow! To sum this up pretty quick because we're trying to go fast. Uh, Gotta go fast. I, at the end of the last campaign, I was looking at all the subcultures that I grew up around as a kid in LA, and was like, I hadn't done punk yet. I'd done the kind of the hippie kids. I'd done the goth kids, and I'm like, I guess I guess I did the carny kids. So I guess I got to do punk now. 
Uh, and then <laughs> I was like, well, it's great. I started making a playlist and was like, what the fuck does punk look like in a fantasy realm where they're really like, it's, it's not really as bad over there as it is out here. Like there's just less to be super angry about. And I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, there's like, but like there's, yeah, there's, I had to figure it out. I was like, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. So I like, um, <clears throat> Uh, I watched a bunch of Henry Rollins talking about his life. I was like, okay, I think I got a notion of how to do this. And then uh, I, I went back, and this amazing woman, uh, Penelope Spears, made uh, a couple documentaries in uh, LA about the punk scene in either both the early '80s and the early '90s. And the early '90s was the one with like the kids that I remember seeing on the outskirts. I wasn't a punk, but like I mm -hmm. knew that everyone went to the same parties uh, back then. And so it was like, yeah, you know, I need a little refresher. And it, it, the one of her movies, I've watched everything she made, but uh, the movie that, uh, the documentary she made, uh, um, The Decline of Western Civilization Part 3, which is the most depressing fucking documentary on God's green earth. You will not feel okay. Uh, and it's just punk kids in the 90s being interviewed, and they are all, it's it's horrible. Um, but, Damn. And I just watched this, I watched that, and then with the Henry Rollins stuff, I was like, okay, I think I think I've got a weird idea. And then, yeah, that was just kind of the build. And for Fundamental Chaos, that was just me wanting to literally just create something terrible and difficult. Yeah. I, I remember the conversation, <laughs> I remember the text. You texted me and were like, the Wild Magic Barbarian sucks. I, I wasn't going to say that out loud, <laughs> but yes. Now it, yeah, it's it it wasn't cooked as, right. As, as as you get bigger, uh, better with it, the less chaos it has. Like, it's like, it's, why? Yeah, it's like, why it would just you gets, that? And like, I was like, I, I want to be nuts. I want to be stupid. Yeah. And you sent me a list of a bunch of ideas. And I went, these are all broken, but let me work with it. Yeah, they, were, <laughs> they were so broken. There was some I like shit, where you're going with this. There was this. some shit that was so broken. I like where you're going with this. And you're like, let reel me, it in. Let me, let me, let me pull it apart and put it back let together. Let me throw some okay. of these pieces together. See yeah. <laughs> Experiment 2.0. There was it's there fine. was some stuff that was a little insane. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you for reeling it in. Oh, it's well. been so much fun to work on. Yeah, it's it been really like a, it's been like a year before I even handed you that. Yeah, or six months. Like, we're seeing some of the some of the fun stuff now. The level. Six I know. Stuff. I'm so excited. There's That's some stupid guns gonna come up. Pop <laughs> up. <laughs> the portal yeah. gun. Yeah, the portal. Ashton. The portal fight. Jesus. Yeah. That's some of my favorite shit. I love the portal fight. Come up. Oh. Yeah. That's what. That's my vibe. All right. Cool. You. Ah. Reach into the chalice. I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay, yeah. that's too many. There's been a lot of fate influence so far in this campaign. What uh, Was that brought on by the characters the cast presented to you, or was that always a theme you planned to play with in campaign three? I will say, it was not necessarily a large theme I was planning to pull into the campaign necessarily. Fae. Fae. Oh, Fae. The Fae realm. But between uh, Fern as a character, just having such a fascinating, uh, presence mm -hmm. of fake chaos uh, and elements of her story and then some of some of the characters in the campaign also having some fate touched aspects like I was like okay it's really a vibe we haven't touched on too much aside from like a brief trip to the fey wild in campaign 1 and you know Artagan being a figure that is present through parts of campaign 2 we haven't really really delved into some of the weird fey shit and so uh, through fern I just kind of got inspired and started weaving some of that in, and, and uh, we'll see if any of that continues to come out in the story. Uh, and I'm super excited. I want to go back. Yeah. Oh, I want to man. go back. I want to know what the, where she came from. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know very I want much. all my powers to break when we, when we switch maybe, dimensions. Maybe you'll go there. Maybe you won't. <laughs> Who knows? But nothing to work anymore. <laughs> One of these holes in the ground goes to the Feyre. You're up. I was going to. We'll jump in first. One, of these, first. one of these answers in the cup goes to the Feyre. <laughs> Uh, what is it like to think of toys for all of the characters? <laughs> Do you have a creative process for what Chetney makes for everyone? What would Chetney make for the illustrious DM? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, it, it didn't occur to me. I until... literally thought you were about to like fart on me as you adjusted us. Uh, it didn't really. <laughs> that's what he'd make for him. Uh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. It was. Side, sit, pose. I forget. I forget who said it. That was like you can pay us with toys in one of the first episodes where he was around. I was like, oh my god. A Robin now I. No, I have to. What's that? That might have been Robbie. I think it was Robbie. Said it maybe it was, yeah. yeah. It sounds yeah. like a Robbie, Robbie vibe. So now uh, there have been multiple nights where <laughs> I'll get on and just search wooden <laughs> and then like a bunch of different words <laughs> and see what, <laughs> see what comes up. I have ordered things that require more time than I thought humanly possible. That little <laughs> fucking shit took hours. <laughs> like, I was up till like three in the morning, really like, fucking. Uh, SS broad day. Uh. But I love that you did that. Oh yeah, it, it, everything has a try. Oh, you found the time for that is yeah. bloody beyond. Yeah, there's one. There's a couple coming up that are of the 
the gnarlier variety. <laughs> what would Jenny make for the Illustrious DM? Um, oh, I would probably, I would make like a, a wooden, like solar system or like a wooden uh, a or -ry. Or -ry. thing. Orry, yeah, that one. Oh, that's cool. Super mm -hmm. simple though, because plates. it would just be a flat plate, right? Yeah. <laughs> 100%. And you will you align all the planets and the little I, pole just like I would love a little Ori that actually had the two moons so you had the the like uh, like oh. wouldn't that be that would be that would be dumb. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Travis? Isn't he supposed to be in this Zoom meeting? Cut to Travis asleep at the kitchen table. <laughs> pressed seven slats of wood. <laughs> Sandpaper. Yeah. All right. Good question. That was Good our last round. We did it. The landing round and now it's time to pull one more question from the Tower of Inquiry. <laughs> Uh, what number am I thinking between one and ten? Go. <clears throat> you. Five. That's not a number. I wanted five, four. Three. <laughs> Six. God, no, shit! I thought I was being you guys safe going to the middle. me. Oh. Between five and six. <laughs> I thought I was going to make it out of here without Almost. doing this again. I already shook it up. Now you got to shake it again, boy. Yeah, let's do what I did. Give it a quick slap. Shake it for his <laughs> No! That's not gonna work. It likes it. Go ahead. God. Show us how it's done, boy. I'm, I'm sweatless. I'm also sweating this. Then, I don't even have to do anything. Then Perry. I already messed up my like one job. I said somebody's username wrong. I'm so sorry. Tip, tap, tip. God, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Tip, tap, tip. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Are you serious? Oh! 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 oh. oh go back home. <laughs> I'm kind of committed at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I think you might be okay. I think or you, you got to put okay. it back. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, uh, hold the weight. Oh. 20. 20? Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> if gold didn't matter, what would be your character's first purchase? From Effie Aaron. Ooh, thank you, Effie. Mm. Gold Somebody doesn't else. matter. Somebody else, thank you. <laughs> what do you think? <sighs> man. I think, I think Orm would buy, buy, buy the group a, a skyship outright. Oh, man, that's Ooh. just buy a skyship. Yeah. Fuck that shit. You get all sleek one. his sleuthing done faster, and then they could just travel the world and see all this, all the flat plate of Exandria. Fast one with five canyons. <laughs> Chutney would just embrace it, man. Hostile takeover bid for all of the toy stores <laughs> <laughs> and, ha and half of the continents, so that there's still some left to be conquered. <laughs> oh wow! I'm kind of serious. <laughs> I, I know you are. That's I, I why I respect it. that. I, I I I believe that. Fuck. Hmm? I, hmm? What about you? I I think I think that. Uh, Ash would just like buy that whole chunk of property that currently that that uh, they've been living in in the spires, and just just buy the whole thing outright just to, to make Ooh. sure that everyone had to fuck off. Okay, the Ponzi Hall. Yeah, that's ours it. now. You can piss off. Yeah, just just yeah, no more problems anywhere. I kind of like that. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, done. I dig big that. line in the sand. Good answer. Yeah, good answer, everybody. Thank you, Effie Aaron. Mm -hmm. If you have an evergreen question for us, you can enter your questions for the Tower of Inquiry at gridwall.com/tower. And all right, folks. We're gonna take a quick break, but stick around because when we come back, we're gonna be playing some exploding kittens. <laughs> be fine. So, uh, thank you so much. We'll see you in a few minutes. Oh my God, my adrenaline is. What mighty hands now turn the ages' wheel as godly grace gives way to mortal foe? Our champions have fallen prey to comfort as dire children chase the matron's wake. Cities soaring, framed by ebbing stars, shake against the echoes of an old hunger and festering wounds from schisms long since past. Surely they knew a distant future reckons. Surely they heard the howl of the calamity. How could they? The wheel must always spin, its gilded fulcrum rotting from within. Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Oh 
my gosh, it's so amazing! <gasps> Could anything be more perfect? Style should never be a dumpster, darling. Look at this, isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. Oh, so comfy cozy. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. We now go live to a special address from the president. Hey dweebs, now as your president, I've been kind of killing it lately. I gave global warming an atomic wedgie, I balanced the budget by selling my paw collection, and I saved the Queen of England from that octopus. But my kickassery is far from done. According to this chart that I made, an estimated 35% of you are still a bunch of nasty goobers. But don't worry, I have a plan. Operation Gag Me with a Spoon. It's easy sleazy. According to the study that I wrote, if every citizen subscribed to Critical Role on Twitch, we could reduce maximum goobage by a metric buttload. Twitch is the only place well, you'll get a live and moderated chat. And if you subscribe to Critical Role, you instantly get access to all their shows as soon as the live broadcast ends. So while you're oogling these Critical Role dorks with their sick goof em ups and their nutty voices, think of me, Gail, the current president of whatever. Now I gotta go make a fresh batch of spitballs, but I guess I have some time for your boring questions. You. Gail, is it true that if you subscribe to Critical Role through Prime Gaming, you have to resubscribe every month? Uh, yeah. I do it right after my monthly prank call to pee on O'Brien. Next question. Does Critical Role have exclusive emotes for their subscribers? Uh, do we? Of course they do. I like the Hello Bees one, because bees are cool. I replace my whole security detail with a bunch of bees that think I'm their queen. Last question. Yeah, with all due respect, is Operation Gag Me with a Spoon a real policy, or are you mad goofing? <gasps> Am I mad goofing? What, do you see me scarfing milk duds while doodling ding-dongs on the Sky Mall catalog? Listen, I know I'm new to this, and I admit that when I made the wish to be the boss of everything, I did not know the witch that works at Woolworths was listening. But Faustian bargain or not, I am the president now, and I have an obligation to lead this country. So to answer your question, no, I am not mad goofing. Security, take him out. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Chud Ruckers. And welcome back to Four Sided Dive. Our hands and knees are raw from crawling through all those winding tunnels of lore and conjecture. So we're gonna play a nice relaxing game of exploding kittens, Travis. Oh. I'm sorry, or you're welcome. Oh no. Exploding kittens. This is gonna be a speed round of exploding kittens and we've added an extra exploding kitten cause fuck it. If you can get knocked out, you can reach into people's tankards and ask any leftover questions. Try to trip them up. It's gonna be a clusterfuck. So uh, let's go. 
My uh, my nose is already going. I yep. didn't I didn't realize why you apologized in time. <laughs> no <laughs> worries. Stop. No, no. Yep. Right okay. There. Who starts? You gotta tell who starts. It's right. You're gonna start because you're the one who's allergic. Okay. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. What you got? 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 Okay. What you got? What you got? See the future. Okay. We get the music playing. Oh yeah. Makes me happy. More intensity. Do you look at that little bow on his penis? Yeah, it's been it's been a long time since I thought about the fact that you are so allergic to cats that even saying the word cats like like fuck. That's my turn. What's that fish guy? Yeah, well, fair. fair. Okay, you're up. You're up. I put down a a a a pair. All right, so you can pull from somebody. And uh, okay, give me that. And and then does that supersede? No, no luck. Drawing a card. Nope, you draw a card as well. I draw a card as well. Yep. Ooh, I got to use my diffuse. Oh, our first exploding kitten. First exploding kitten. Yep. Put it where you want. Damn, oh, that's a new diffuser. Okay. Yeah, it, I mean the art on this is just really pleasant. It's ridiculous. Yep. Where's okay. he putting it? Where's he gonna what go? Does that one say? Up my butt. Boom. Okay. Okay. All right. Tell us. Uh, yep. 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 I got nothing going on here, uh, so I'm just gonna pull a card. Ooh, that's fancy. Uh, going right ahead. All right. A uh, favor. So that was a fancy card. Uh, give me a card of your choice in your hand, there, buddy. What is that okay. art? Oh, he's baby birding his best friend. Oh, oh, oh no. That's terrible. Like good friends do. I'll yeah. show you how that works after the show. <laughs> All right, you're up. My turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, huh. I'm going to <laughs> attack Liam. Boosh. Oh, you damn. You have to draw two cards. I have to draw two cards? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, at no. the end of your turn. At the end of my turn. You can take two turns. Do I, okay. if I put down attack, do I also draw a card after I put down attack? End your turn without, pardon me, drawing a card, then force the next pair. That's it. Yep. Do I forestall that? If I put down this, you skip one of them. Peeper whale, just one. Yep, because you take two turns. I might, I might have doomed myself. Oh boy, here we go. I can feel it. Joink. I'm out. Oh! <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You discard those as well into they the go pile. Into the pile. All right. Into the pile. So now we get to pull one of. No, I ask you questions. Oh, it's my hands are free. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that's how it works, but it sounds working yeah, out. Sounds sounds sure. hands is working out right Alrighty. now. I pull uh, hands yeah, working out. Free. I'm just pulling. You're just pulling. Carry on, carry on. Okay, okay, okay. I am also going, going to so pull. much faster than before. <clears throat> yep. All right. You're really? Up. Really? You're up. Really? You're up. Okay, okay. We're going fast, man. It's good. Okay, okay. How I'm does careful. Ash feel about being debt free? Exploding kitten! Oh. I have a diffuse. <laughs> Phew. Oh, good. Does it it's feel a... real, or do they feel like the other shoe is going to drop? Oh, it's going to drop in any moment. This is bullshit. I've gotten in with someone who can just fuck with me, and this has all been a fucking ruse. Give me your cuss. Oh, uh, Hexum? Like, I don't I don't actually believe that. Ooh. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> you're pull, motherfucker. <laughs> You'll be mm. fine. Right. Yeah, think good things don't happen to that. I'm an exploding kitten, but I'm gonna yeah, oh, diffuse. Nice. I love these. I love yeah. these cups. I and love these tankards. Good things don't happen to people. There's 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 rules. Oh yeah, that's right, you're doing this. Here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna clean this up. So, uh, Chetney got his revenge for <laughs> Tuyan Atwana, the owner of the Prism Emporium. Tell us more about that experience. Is this flavor of revenge new for him? I'm gonna shuffle because I don't like that you just touched those cards last. No ah, curses. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, what was the last part of that question? Is this new for him or is he a serial killer? You know, <laughs> serial is such a dirty <laughs> word. Yeah, there's, there's such, so many connotations with cereal. Could be Fruit Loops, could be. More than three, I think, is what it counts, counts as officially serial. You know, Chet Chetney is <laughs> experienced with death. Um, More than three premeditated. But uh, he definitely, uh, you know, he has a, a moral system. He has a, a way of judging uh, people. Oh, God, that was so close. I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. okay. Yeah. Um, Enjoy. But, the, you know, the, the slate has been wiped clean for now. Okay. Well, let's be honest, the only serial you're killing is Muselix. <laughs> um, see the future. Wow. I mean, we got to remember this is Chetney who tried to not kill it. a. It's like Ch Chetney feels cream. like a grape nuts man to me. Yeah, grape nuts, sure. A little honey on it. <clears throat> honey. So I have to take like two turns, stuff. right? Yep. I'm going to skip. And I'm going to skip. Oh. Now you can answer my question, Maddie. Tell us about Lord Eshteros. Oh, you skipped twice. Yeah, because okay. he attacked me. Oh. Huh. I'm, I'm going to skip. What was your inspiration behind this Batman Beyond era Bruce Wayne figure? I wanted to introduce some sort of a, a, a unique... Oh, uh, I don't know, A unique possible patron to the group that kind of... 
I didn't I didn't mean to create kind of a, a, a Batman Beyond Bruce Wayne figure, but when people started pointing it out, I was like, oh my god, that's exactly who this is. Like, and a, a lot of that vibe to it. I just, I just wanted like a like an old warrior, like somebody who who'd lived the life and knew what it entailed. Two right off the top. Oh, knew what it entailed, and then they uh, uh, they were looking for the right kind of the right kind of heart, along with the skill set, and somebody that they can kind of like build from the ground up. Did you imagine him to be as hot as he is, or did that just evolve over time? That evolved over time. That was not intentional by any means. Uh, it's just I... inherent in your role play, huh? Plus, he bakes. He does. It's the full package. And well. Yeah. I love I mean, a bake. I bake too, but you don't want to fuck with that. Um, okay. A lot of those things just kind of came out in the role fuck play. With me God either. damn it, I'm out! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, well, I'll put mine back in. Travis, take these two mugs. Yep. All right. You can ask me a question. I'll well, get one ready for you. Oh my goodness. Next. Uh, Orm, Liam, mm. how does Orm feel about going to Bosserus right Are now? You? Is he frustrated mm. not to be, but to not be focused on the assassins, or is he eager to the finish things with twice? I'm gonna mm. take. I think that obviously okay. he'd like to go straight to it, but he under he. Uh, uh, your turn. He's much more powerful and in a better place with this group, so he's keeping the group. And it's not like a like a mercenary thing. Like these are his friends uh, now, and you, it's got to be a give and take. So he's seeing to other people's needs. And ah! <laughs> the victor, victory. Can't nope my way out of that, can I? <sighs> nope out of that. No. no, I can't nope out of that. We got smoke. Sorry. Please continue. Mm. Uh, yeah. No, he knows they're gonna get to it. So it is it is an investment in his friends, his new friends. Right. Uh, I want to get one last one in for you. What was it like for Chetney mm. and for you, and I'm more interested in the for you part, to lose control of the wolf during the heist? Oh. Wow, yeah. Uh, well, it was amazing because it's it's listed, I think, in the features and traits part. And, you know, it's like once you go below a certain hit point number, if you start your turn under that, you roll and just attack the person that's nearest mm -hmm. you, which is amazing, but I had forgotten about it up to that point. So when Matt mentioned it, I looked at my... At points, I was like, oh, shit, Knuckles. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I like it because then you have to RP uh, out of it or around it or explain it away. So can sense. you move towards anybody you want or, or are you? You move towards the closest, closest creature, which means if you're getting low in hit points, it behooves you strategically to get away from, to get away from your friends. Because yeah. then it's not a huge deal. You're still fighting the same enemy. Sure. You know, bad guys around you, but situationally. because Blood Hunter, you typically need to bang like up close, but. Yeah. In that case, it was real bad. That was, that was a very specifically that bad case That could have gone scenario. real wrong real quick. Oh yeah, not only was I about to be absorbed by the gelatinous cubes that were in there, but if I had hit him and you had let me go or something and I slid back down, that was, that was it. And <laughs> how, how is it, oubliette. this wasn't on the paper, but how is it now all these years later after your obvious love affair with werewolves to finally be living in the skin? It's my best life. Yeah. It's my absolute best life. I have like, 30 good transformations up my sleeve, all pulled okay. from various forms of media. Yeah, my yeah. Lon Chaney heart is beating hard oh. and strong. I, t I had a you plastic. Invoke that name. I had a plastic Wolfman action figure that I took to Sunday school in the mornings, and my mom would be like, "He just likes, he likes werewolves." <laughs> <laughs> that explain it away. Some kids like dinosaurs. Some like werewolves. Yep. Plus, who's, plus, Chetney's my. Oh, we're going again. Let's go again. Chetney's my my boy. Let's do it. Well. Do we need to reshuffle the deck? We did. I did. I did. Oh, you so, did. Is there anybody in the party you don't My trust? Cards. Yes. Okay, you don't have to say who. I'm just yeah. kind of curious. Yeah, of course. Yeah, all right. What, what are you doing? I'm putting my There's cards more than back one. in. Oh, you dealt those new cards. I did. I got right. a couple. How many is it? Yeah, four? Right? It was four, but one well, of them well, was questions. five. One of them is supposed to be a diffuse card, but. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was paying attention to lore, Matt. Lore. I, oh, I know. It's all okay, right. So I'll shuffle. Shuffle them up. And it's four total, so I should pull the three. The art in these cards. Yeah, it's obscene. Mm. Yeah. Is, uh, no, pull four, pull four, and one's your four in addition to my yeah. Be a bawling a baby. Three, four. <laughs> That's very you. If you Unleash think some it. adorable penguin diarrhea. This <laughs> actually has to get shuffled back into. Oh, okay. awaken the Narnope. <clears throat> this is yeah. Oh, the game. The game is dark. Okay, so questions are paused. I think I, I mean, we, where it's keep... lined up, it'll be fine. No, don't worry, I'll die in the first. All right, since I second. died, I'll go first. All right. I... All right, one, I'll go first, I pull up. Okay, you're up. Oh, me, okay. Oh, ha, ah, no, F you, see? Wow. I'm paying, away. I'm paying attention. I'm going to attack Liam. Boom. Come 
Come on. Two cards. Take it and die. Come on. Play your things. One. Boom. Kablooey. I'm all right. What? Okay. Stocked up. Attack. Ah! Mad, mad attack. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will. Mad attack. Draw. And. Dogs, oh, but a kitten defuse. Whoa. Very. Very close. And now, and now shit gets real. That's my turn. I'm not yep. paying attention. I'm thinking of Lord Estras. Yeah, no, aren't we all? Wait. I'm going to uh, give me a favor. I'm going to, one player must give you a card of their choice. Of their choice? Yes. Uh, there you go. Take that one. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you knew. Yeah, what the, fuck what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened to that man to make him so paranoid? <clears throat> I'm gonna put down a very this, paranoid man. This yes, mama cat shooting oh. uh, kittens out of her hoo ha, and I'll take a card from <laughs> you. Okay, well done. Mm. You rubbed mm. some crack with uh. baby owl. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a curious All game. Right. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna use diffuse and uh, and uh, make this not be a problem. So All right. Oh, you got the first one. I got the. You, I got first one. It. That's okay. So Technically, cards. I think I got the first one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. When you're done, mm -hmm. put it back, and I'll mm -hmm. take my toy. Put right. it back in. <laughs> put it back in. <laughs> okay, my turn. My yep. turn. I'm gonna go ahead and see the future. So I can go ahead and take a look at this top three cards here. Not lucky. What does right. a butterfly that strung right. to your Wii have to do with seeing the future? If, you, if you've never tried, you don't know, do you? Also, I have allergies. Yeah. It's not. I'm not doing any You're cocaine up. in the studio. I just have. I just say. Oh, ah. Uh, 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 you didn't. Did you shuffle? You did. No. You <laughs> I saw the future. <laughs> God, it's an exploding kid, but don't worry. I have diffuse via a mauling baby. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So I go. I will. Uh, I will uh, attack. Yeah, On the support, do I draw a card? I don't draw a card. Uh, can I if nope you attack that? you do not? I can I nope that. Can I? You can. I'm gonna say nope. No, you, you can don't. nope is nope. If you got a nope, do you nope? Does something happen back to me? I don't. You still that. have to pull a card now. Yeah. Now you have to pull yeah. a card because you know. Okay. Her. Now you got to pull pull a card. Okay. Now I had him. Now it's getting real. Damn it, Danny. I thought that was it. I thought I had him. Sure. I believe in you, Travis. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I need someone to. <laughs> what? I believe oh. in you. Thanks. Oh, it's two. Okay. My tribunal. No, wait, I need three for that. <laughs> Moving on. But ignore. All right, my turn. Just a Anything goes. I'm going to skip your turn. Mm. Nice. Turn. No, it's uh, Travis. Yep. Oh, he skips himself. Yeah, I want. Travis. Give me like one of like your cards. Out. Anyone you choose. Enjoy. Oh, what is that art? What the fuck, man? <laughs> don't 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 puck poke a hornet's nest, man. Pull, pull one of my cards. I'm curious. Jesus, don't fuck a hornet's nest. <laughs> How many? Pieces okay, that you just don't go. Pull me once. I'm seeing the future. What? Pull me twice. Mm -hmm. Ouch! It stings. Do, do, do. <laughs> pull me once. There's, There's so many. Stings. There's so many. Okay, now that I've seen the future, remind me. Do They're I pull a card at this point? Yeah, I you do? still pull a card. Yeah. Okay, cool. You just know how bad it's gonna be. You turn Talus. I'm gonna skip. Okay. I'm gonna skip. You beesh. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna play a pair and I'm gonna take one of your cards. You're looking at this one. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, oh, do I still draw a card? Yes, you no. do. Oh, oh, no. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> oh wait, can I nope it? Nope. 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 No, can't nope a cat. Can you nope it? Nope. All right, oh. so you need to draw answers to questions or ask questions. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm Distract us. Distract us. Put this here and take. Do you have any cards? Nope. Do you have any cards? One card. Give it to me. That is it's yours. Okay. What's that art? Oh, that's my question. <laughs> no, no, no. What's that text? <laughs> what? Uh huh. Oh, draw. What? It's <laughs> so messed up, dude. <laughs> Okay, still alive. Ooh, Liam, Orem is the one who learned about the Grim Verity from Astani. What does he think about the institution of, and Astani's connection to them? Uh, he's really happy to have uh, some more learned people with him. A secret society, 
with its thumbs and a hundred pies uh -huh. feels hundred thumbs, over hundred his pies. head. So I guess he's just glad that he's got, there are a couple of brains in this group, intelligence scores aside. Thanks. Um, yeah, you're the smartest one. Is that true? Yeah, I'm certainly the oldest. Yeah. I'm talking, I'll be leaning heavily in a minute. No one's, perhaps. I like, everyone's pr like decently smart in this group. I don't, I don't, I don't doubt the intelligence my of anyone involved in this group at this yeah. point. Yeah. Do I do yeah. this and I take Indeed. No grogs. Chetney. Does anyone have a card? Now yeah. has more information on the Gorgine. Give me your card. Oh. What does he think of the group Stay and of Ajit Dial? Does he want to join them or just learn from them? Your turn. Matt's uh, out too? Matt's out. I just us? Right just us? Now. Oh shit. I think right now it's just learn from them because they've been living with it for so long. And if they have any like ticks or uh, ticks, yeah, if they have ticks, he would like some ticks. Yeah, it's delicious. Good ticks. blood reference. You know. yeah, tick just, check. Just tick check. Pick them up. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Any tricks? Uh, anything that'll help him control oh, the beast yeah. a little bit only if it'll help him. But also, if it's real attractive, I don't know. He might run away. Maybe they're all like a nudist Shuffle. group of werewolves. Maybe they're all like hedonists. And that might be appealing to him. I don't know. Making notes. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let your freak flag fly. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's real interested to, to see it. Maybe he'll fight for that um, alpha position. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And there it is. Uh, hey! Well, wins. Redeemed. You did? <clears throat> well, that's one and one. There you go. Is it best of three? Well, no, because there's four of us. Yeah. It's oh. best. Thank you all so much for joining hey, us. Wow. What a fantastic, <laughs> fun time on Forest Headed Dive. Uh, big, big thanks. Uh, this is our third dip. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Travis. Third Thank dip. you, Towson. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Matt. And of course, our lore keeper, Danny Cole. Danny Cole! Danny! Danny, Danny Cole! It's going way too fast. I missed all the text, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta clean up after everyone. But I love that Sam song. So I'm. Um, Kind of excited. It is a bop. Yeah, you, you have nothing happy? to clean up. I don't. Yeah, here, let's just sit here and let's see what happens. Let's. Oh, what? Oh! That was pretty cool. Now you got shit to clean up. Oh, there's yeah. another one. Oh, oh God! Jesus! Oh. What the fuck? Sorry, me strong. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah. Uh. All right, Matt. Uh. Grab the broom and finally do something for this right. company. Friends around the table, time to celebrate. It's a party. Hit the lights. Here we go. go. to lose control so let's just leave this world behind everybody come on take a dive one by one we roll the dice come on let's go critical goal for another round your friends are here to cheer you on You want a little drink? You like you're working up a working up a thirst, did you? Oh, that's okay. I wanna bring you.